welcome to another Instagram Q&A with me, Mark Allen. Um, I've got a few questions from you, let's go. First of all, I've got Isaiah Soul who's asked me, hey, if you want to hear some great music, follow my page. Not much of a question, but if you want some great music, go there. Lisa Thompson has sent me a message with nothing on it. Thank you. Guterez.amy43 says, Hi sweetie, I'm rising webcam model. Please follow my main page at HeyKrista. I will post there my unsun uncensored content for you. Um, Magic One Mesh, again, hi Mesh. On average, how long after full treatment do most clients return for top ups? Good question. So, obviously, with SMP, everything has different variables. Clients have uh, different perceptions on what's going on with their head. Um, I'd say, on average, most clients, after they've had their original treatment, are usually back about a year to 18 months after for a top up session. After that, it strings out a bit longer, you know? Um, but for their first top up, it's usually a year to 18 months. Angelina Romani just says, hi, Creative Scalps, with a blushing face. Hi, the underscore Jack Evans. How much is a session generally? Okay, generally on average, a session with me, you're looking around 700 pound per session. Um, I've got my other two guys, Will and Sammy. They are 40% discount on that price. So if you're looking for a cheaper price, but still with the Creative Scout style, then hit us up and you can get in with Will or Sammy. MCKEB2, Mukke2. Does SMP distort, blend and fade like a tattoo? So a good question again. And the honest answer is yes, it will do if it's not applied correctly. So. The trick to it is, and the difference between SMP and a regular tattoo is the depth of the skin we're working at. So on a regular tattoo, like I've got my arms, they, they tattoo quite deep in the skin. So if we were to do that on the scalp, that's where you can get the bleeding and um, coming together of the pigment um, and the bluish color. So to avoid that, it's the technique we use, you know, a real tight stretch on the skin and getting just under the surface of the skin. All right, so we call it the upper dermis level. Um, pretty much if you think about it, just like a couple of layers down in the skin, little tiny impressions, and they will, if done correctly, stay as they are and just gradually lighten over time rather than blending together. All right, and that's what will keep it looking natural in years to come. Thanks for the question. Paolo underscore Bona, Bona Corsi. Paolo underscore Bona Corsi, are you not planning to get your head tattooed? Well, funny you should say that, I've had it done. All through here, I haven't had the hairline done, but all through here, I was thinning quite a lot. Um, and back in January, I had two sessions on there by a friend of mine, Ollie Hughes. And yeah, there you go, you can't tell. Um, so yeah, I've, I've got it done, thanks. Tony Lin, 81. Would you tell someone if you think they had chosen the wrong hairline shape? Yes, 100%. It's really important as a scalp artist um, that you really know how it's gonna look um, and you can really advise the client, you know? Um, sometimes clients want something that maybe I think maybe won't suit them, so we have to come to a happy medium, but if I'm really not happy with it, I can't put my name on it. So you really have to be, as an artist, dead set on, you know, listen mate, this ain't gonna work for you. Let's try it this way. The key to it is, is to never do too much. You always wanna leave yourself with something that you can add on to. So even if you're having a, a sharp, boxed up hairline, you really wanna have it getting a little bit lighter towards that edge and with a little bit of room for manoeuvre. So if in later in life, you wanna adjust it, soften it out, which can happen, um, you've still got the option to do that. So there you go, thanks for the question. Underscore long 94, Sarah 37. Hi sweetie, I'm rising webcam model. I've got another one of them. 
I'm getting a few of them. Is that just me or is it everyone? Copenhagen underscore scalp. When doing the hairline, do you change to smaller needle size? Do you mix pigment with lighter shade? The answer is a variable answer again. Um, so it's a yes and no answer. Um, usually when doing the hairline, it's a good idea to uh, do smaller impressions, get a little bit lighter at the front. But when you've got a lot of experience, you tend to um, find what needle works for you throughout the scalp. And then as you get to the front of the scalp, you can just touch it slightly lighter. So your, um, your pressure that you're using with the needle changes rather than swapping needles. But yeah, at the beginning, maybe you could use a smaller needle. Um, and do you mix pigment with a lighter shade? Yeah, absolutely. Um, a lot of my treatments I do, I start with a lighter shade. On the second session, a darker shade. And on the third session, a slightly darker shade again. So we've always got three different shades working together to create a really, really amazing look. Thanks for the question. KRTSMP. Uh, any tips slash advice for someone who is new in the industry? Thumbs up. Yeah, definitely. If you're new in the industry and you're looking to make your way, um, the biggest tip and advice I can give you is just to really focus on um, honing your craft. You know, um, when I got into this business, my my goal was always just to produce the best results I could. It was never about any money. You know, so I really got my head down, just really built up my portfolio, worked with every client that I was doing, doing extra sessions for free if I needed to, just to really make sure I'd hone my craft, you know? Um, and that's definitely the best way to go forward. Never think of the money, always think of what's best for the client. And by doing that, you'll produce incredible results. Just really be into what you're doing, all right? Good luck. And P Velco 10. Any idea when you will start taking bookings again? Cheers. Well, what with the COVID-19 situation going on? We are taking bookings, as in you can pay a deposit and get added to the list. Um, currently, uh, we're looking at, possibly the government said we can reopen um, at the earliest 4th of July. Um, I'm taking bookings and adding people onto a waiting list. My waiting list is quite long. We're currently looking at about 72 people. If you want to jump onto that list, just give me a shout, I can put you on. I've got my two assistants, Will and Sammy. But as I said earlier, they work on a 40% discount on my price. Um, they're available a lot quicker um, at the moment within a week or two of on the restart. So if you want to get in, if you want to get prepared and ready um, and get on the list, just give us a shout and we'll book you up. Thank you. That's it. Thanks for watching. My name's Mark Allen, Creative Scalps. Keep safe and I'll see you later.